Welcome. I'm Sharmila Bragansa Pereira, the 15th generation of the Bragansa Pereira home. So welcome, let's go in and see the home built in the 16th century. This is the entrance room. The furniture that you see is made of rose antique wood. This is called a tete-a-tete. You sit this side, you sit the other side and have a basically a chit-chat. A hat and coat stand. And these chairs, custom made for the gentleman, Antonio Francisco Santana Pereira, AFSP, custom made for him are these chairs. Look at the elephants carved in the tables, ivory inlaid, ivory on top of it, flamingos in the sofa, The marble was imported from Italy. The chandeliers and the glass came from Belgium. And the flooring here is original, which is Italian. And the painting on the border is done by Goan artists. It is painting to match the floor. Look at the skirting down, this match, matches the Italian flooring down. And the plates came from China, which was earlier a Portuguese colony, Macau. Today it belongs to China. This glass is ruby glass from Belgium. Turtle shells, big turtle shells, and some crockery in there, which is Japanese and Chinese. The flooring in the gallery, the next room, is Italian mosaic. Look at the floor. Italian mosaic. Some of the chairs with his initials again. A real coconut from Seychelles, this is called Coco de Mer. Carvings in the furniture, this is monkey eating a breadfruit upside down. Pink Italian marble. And let's have a look at the planter's chair. You put your legs up and rest. Sandalwood box that came from Mysore. Goan pottery. And a Philips radio made in Holland. This is of the 20th century. This house was opened since 1980 when my uncle decided to open and he started showing around. And these three are full of collections done by him when the people had visited the house. These three shelves. A Portuguese treasure chest to a treasure would be brought by ship and this would be the base where it would be kept on. So this would remain here and the base would be, I'm sorry, the chest would be brought in by ship with a lot of treasure in those days. Writing desk carved in the sunburst design. 16th century Chinese paintings painted on the back side of a glass. Let's have a look at the dining room. Inverted boat shaped ceiling, three leaved 10 legged dining table. and German beer mugs to keep it cool in those days when there was no electricity. It was made of copper and wood. And a 20th century item, a refrigerator made in Hyderabad. This is Alvin Prescott, which used to work on kerosene, and it doesn't work anymore. Silver from England sterling and gin bottles from Rotterdam. 
We've so far seen the entrance room, gallery, and the dining room. Let's have a look at the chapel. Spanish Baroque designed gold altar on wood. Silver candle stands on wood. Our Lady of Pieta, or Our Lady of Sorrows, to whom this chapel is dedicated to. And the flooring is originally Spanish, and it is hard to retain it. As you can see, it's sliding down. But so far, everything in the chapel is original and not touched. 15th of September is the Feast of Our Lady of Sorrows. That's when we have Mass here at times. And a confessional chair, the old confessional chair, where the priest sits down and listens to the confession we make when we kneel down on this side. This is our chapel. This is our ballroom. As you can see the ceiling, which has been restored, it was originally perforated zinc sheets. So it's painting done on perforated zinc sheets. And the painting on the walls to give the marble effect is to match the Italian marble on the floor. So it's done by Goan painters. It's been touched up as well. And you'll see there is 24 karat gold leaf paint on the arches of the windows. See the two chairs here. These are gifts to our ancestor, great great grandfather from the king of Portugal. Don Luis was the king who gifted these two chairs when he was given knighthood when he became the vice consul general for Spain. So these are the two chairs with the coat of arms in the chairs. Chandeliers from Belgium. Earlier it was candlelight until electricity came in the year 1972. Look at the colored glass in the full front part of the house that is also Belgian. And this is our great-great-grandfather, Antonio Francisco Santana Pereira. Look at the piano. It's out of tune now. It's in bad shape. That's made in Germany, and the importers were from Bombay, Rose and Company. The keys are made of ivory and ebony. This is the bedroom. And the bedroom, you'll see, this was the powder room for the ladies. You see the clothes hanger, the sleigh bed, and the mother of pearl inlaid furniture of this bedroom. Mother of pearl is inlaid in most of it. The second one is the mausoleum of the house where the bones of the dead were buried. That one. And this is the length of the house. See the length of the house. Please come in. Into the balcony. This is the length of the house. In those days, there were no bathrooms. This is how they had their emergency toilets, or the commodes or chamber pot. The aluminum pot would be down, pull it out, and then there were many stuff to dispose the metal. So everything would be kept spick and span, and water would be brought from the well. And the wash basin to wash their hands and face. And this is a one-seater palki, palanquin, where four men would lift one person in it. This is a garafaun, two garafauns we've got. So this was the powder room for the ladies. And now we will move into the corridor, where you see two Palan queens, palkis.
these are tombstones of our great great grandparents all the lampshades from belgium and these windows they vertically move up and down they are called sash or guillotine windows they rest on the hinges like this how much you want so they basically move up and down presently the 14th 15th and the 16th generation residing here in this house <laughs> पळत रावत गोवन नरेटिव्ह